In this week's Parsha, Parsha Ve'era, despite all the Mako and despite Moshe and Aaron continuously demanding Paro to let the Jews go, Paro repeatedly refuses, and thus Hashem hardens Paro's heart. If Hashem is affecting Paro's free will by hardening his heart, then why does Hashem proceed to punish Paro with more Mako for making the wrong choice by refusing to let the Jewish people go? What's the point of Hashem hardening Paro's heart? The Ramban gives an answer. If Hashem hadn't hardened Paro's heart and interjected with Paro's free will, then he would have been deprived from making a genuine decision in regards to letting the Jewish people go. What does the Ramban mean by this, you may ask? Well, if you were struck with plagues as destructive and as painful as these ones were, wouldn't you also be compelled to let the Jewish people go just so you could get rid of this pain? Well, yes, of course, and this is why Hashem had to harden Paro's heart. Hashem did not want Paro to just give in and let them go because he was compelled by the Makot to do so. He wanted Paro to come to his own conclusion without it being affected by external variables like the Makot. Hashem hardened Paro's heart so that Paro could withstand and endure the Makot until he actively and wholeheartedly wanted to let the Jewish people go. We can learn from this that if God wanted to merit Paro, a wicked man, the opportunity to choose to do the right thing and a good thing at it, like freeing B'nai Israel of his own volition, then all the more so, Kavachomer, God wants to merit us with opportunities to choose to do the right and the good thing, and may we all capitalize on them as they come.